All right, back here in the shack. You know, I uh, I treat these old machines like people uh, treat classic cars and uh, old tractors and stuff like that. It's the same kind of thing. And uh, I have a lot of fun with it. And uh, it's better than what's on TV. And uh, I have to tell you, there's too many people I know around here that watch cable TV, smoke cigarettes, and drink, and have a nicer shop than mine that don't do anything in it. But, uh, I don't know, whatever. But I, I'm struggling a little bit with this uh, collet attachment, but it's really, it, it's pretty interesting, and I think I can make it work out. And uh, I've tried some different things with it and found that it's got an error that I couldn't correct by uh, knocking it true like I did in the video, um, the one-eyed hammer trick. But I'll show you where I'm at with this attachment. And uh, it's kind of like uh, things don't change too much. Uh, Sometimes aftermarket things don't fit too well, and that's what's going on with this. Let's have a look at it. Okay, take this loose here. <laughs> so, here's the collet chuck here. And uh, you screw the collet in with a tool like this. You screw it in and out. And then you can lock it with this little set screw. It's down here somewhere right there. Then that'll stabilize it. But you can work it without that. Then it works like this. See, you push this down. It's got an O-ring, I think, to keep the whole thing from flying out the front. And so that pulls it in like that. So it's got this lever. And I found... Uh, Rob had this, he was using it a long time ago, and he had the lever up like that. Uh, normally the lever is sideways, so I tried a sideways mount, and it just wasn't real happy, and I couldn't get the uh, lever mounted um, to the machine quite as strong. And so I came up with this aluminum part here and uh, I made it look like it's cast so I'm gonna paint it gray and so this goes on here you see I kind of made it so it gives that kind of the grip the lion's paw grip <laughs> there we go see it uh, I didn't have to drill any holes, this uh, half-inch holes already there. It's like a, for the bumper here for the uh, tailstock. So that's existing. So I didn't have to uh, drill anything. And uh, so I'll paint it gray and it'll look, uh, look like it belongs on the machine. Looks are important. <laughs> okay, down to the problem is... Uh, this doesn't fit the spindle very well. It's too tight on the taper. And a lot of times you can get away with too tight. But too tight is bad, like too loose. And particularly on this uh, plate here. So this part here mounts on the front of this. And if you can see, it's cored out quite a bit and it's actually thinner than you would think so <clears throat> this being too tight is causing distortion and cause this to have an axial run out that I couldn't correct by uh, tapping or uh, shocking the, uh, a rod or a shaft true so I have to go back to square one and uh, recut this. So that's what's happening. <laughs> I got to wait a little bit. It's still a little too early to crank this thing up. I, I think it probably shake, shakes the ground a little bit. 
So I'm going to clean up the aluminum I got everywhere. <laughs> Making this bracket. But I think this is going to work out real good. Uh, like anything, you really got to fiddle with it. So uh, I'm going to try and edit on this. I've been uh, having a lot of failures with the equipment. And uh, I'll get back. And also, like to uh, thank uh, Corey for this fantastic uh, donation for the cause. And uh, this is what that got. So uh, needed supplies. Okay. Okay, running at 473 RPM. And I'm going to use the feed to um, face it. I set the taper with the 10th dial indicator off of my spindle. So I'm going to cut it to fit my spindle. Okay. I think we can see some action there. a very sharp micro 100 carbide okay
then probably uh, cut that tamper a little more too. looks pretty good I'm gonna cut a little more off that then I'm gonna take this off put it on blocks and test it with dye against the spindle nose okay I'll be back